Okay, as promised, um, this is the pseudo code version of key check title that I did that horrendous flowchart for. Your flowcharts are probably better if you've got like one, maybe two ifs or a couple of switch cases and no more. Um, if you've got more than like two, three diamonds on your, your flowchart, it, it starts getting horrible. Okay, so... The pseudocode is the way to go. We don't, in real programming, we don't normally do many flowcharts. So here we go. So I'm going to start off. I've got my Word up and I've got my Visual Studio open at the same time. Uh, what I might do is if I, I'll set that to hide. Get my Word down a bit so I can see on screen a little bit easier what I'm doing. Get rid of the ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to say start off with a little bit of structure and I'm just going to say sudo code for key check title. Um, bring that back up because what I want to do now, I want to everything I select from now on, I want it to be um, oh, no spacing. Okay, so that when I type. It goes into the next line. Right, so looking at the first bit is an if, so let's go around again. So we've got an if, uh, and this is if back or escape pressed then. Um, and what I want to run is exit, and then I need to put end if. So again, remember, pseudocode can look a little bit like Visual Basic. Uh, and you can see straight away that this has been a bit easier to put together than the silly flow chart. I don't know positioning to do. Next if, uh, and it was left control, if left control, pressed, then run setup options using the correct names. End if. Okay. Scroll this one down a little bit, and then we get onto the bit that checks for the credits. So we can say if um, y or that's what the double that double pipe symbol means or um, five. Oops. <laughs> Held down shift. Pressed. Then. Oops. Forgot the then on the. Whatever format you have, stick to it. Don't change it. Right, so I'm going to put my end if in straight away. Because this one's got all this nesting and it's important to do that. So the next thing is another decision. So if credits is less than 9, then I'm going to put my end if in again. To mark the end of that. Right, so all we've got now is credits equals credits. And this is what that actually means. Credits equals credits plus one. Add one to credits. And this bit really gains specific. So we're just going to say remove insert coin sprite. Leave that up to the um, programmer. Then we've got another if. Oops, tab too many times. So we've got if press start not on screen then put me in diff in so I've cheated a little bit because that's super specific engine code um, but I'm leaving it up to the programmer how they decide that was going to work okay so this is <coughs> let's maximize this that's it done so that didn't take long at all um, but what we could do with is just add a few spaces just to tidy this up a little bit so we can see what's what. So I'm going to put a space there. Space there. Just to tidy it up. Okay, and then when I finish with that, just put a highlight around all of it. Let's put the uh, ribbon back on and put my paragraph mark outside border. Okay, get rid of that blank. 
Um, what you might want to do again uh, is highlight any specific subroutines that you run. Oops, that should have had braces in bold. Um, but you don't have to do that. Okay, and that's pseudo code for the key check tile. Bit quicker.